Okay, welcome back folks. Today we have something totally different. A uh, Japanese magazine called 30 Times was made by a very cool, very good photographer. I can't say his name. I always say Oreo, so I don't really know. But today we have uh, two lowrider legends, Ted Wells and Larry Watson. So I hope you, you enjoy this. Okay, so uh, yeah. I don't really know when this magazine is from. But um, yeah, Larry Watson died, so we know it's a little older already. And sadly, it's not around no more. You could find that guy who who made this on on Instagram, and he still takes awesome photos and everything. So here we start with uh, Ted Wells, aircraft hydraulic legend. So just look at that. Yes all the tanks he has all the rare stuff he makes those color bars oh my god those are all like old vintage uh yeah metal flakes his shop just dead work dead deck workbench just amazing and an equalizer do i need an equalizer i don't know so i don't know if you're into this spindly thing or whatever that is just my life. Look at this photo, it's so pretty. I love and I really miss California, and it's just that moment, you know. The sunset, there are the lowriders, all the palm trees. Oh, there we see it, so it must be 2009. Seaside Festa. Try to give you all the close ups. That looks cool. But maybe not. I don't know. Oh my god, now I have to censor that. <laughs> wow, and there we go. Larry Watson, the legend. So, not the first lowrider no more. Man, so cool though, all the old photographs of him. I don't really know his story no more because I forget everything, but I think he started painting cars, got really, really famous, and and then he he became a movie star? But I don't really know. Let's just look at the shop, beautiful. With all his light bulbs, with all the candy colors. Beautiful. Oh, and those old low light. Um, indoor car shows with all the candy colors. Oh my god, I wish I would be back there. Oh, there's Stan! The Jew <laughs> not the Jewish. Uh, he used to have the biggest uh, car club black collection on this planet. And he's a really cool guy. He used to have a 55 uh, Chevy called the Linwood Flasher and he sadly sold that car and now he has he he still has a 55 a normal 55 and a 55 kind of like a Gaza car which has um I don't know if it's blown but it's a it, it's a quick car and it's called Quicksilver he had a shop truck in the early 2000s striped by Dean Jeffries and he just have everything like super cool from Dutch knows everything like all the cool stuff this guy is just awesome it's a little bit weird but yeah everybody's a little bit weird so Stan if you see this if you hear this don't sue me on don't don't hate on me okay I never told that one that yeah if you if you remember sorry so this is Mike O'Brien from Pacific Coast Choppers Cycles. Sorry, I always like this logo. Now this video is no longer available on the YouTube. So I think he recently died and it's really sad. I think he left a daughter here. He, he built a sublime bike. I, I don't know if you can see this here. For the sublime guy that died. And always had cool cars. Always 
Like, there's a story, I don't know if it's true or not, uh, hashtag Jesse James. Um, so, he said that Jesse James was his apprentice. And then Jesse James became, like, all famous, and we all know that story. But uh, he sold stuff like West Coast Chopper shirt at the Long Beach swap meet. And Jesse James still, I don't know that for sure, but he said owed him money. So he's standing there, some guy comes, walks up to his stand and says, hey, you can't sell that. He's a lawyer or like a representative of, of West Coast shoppers or whatever. And they took all the shirts from him and he really felt like this guy not really treated him well. Now then he went back to the West Coast shoppers thing and like they were fighting or something. I can't go into detail right now and I don't want to like lie or make shit up but like it was a uh, uh, kind of intense back in the day. I think that happened like around 05, 06 or whatever and really cool guy, always had cool cars, at Long Beach swap meet, always like pulled up with something cool. Just overall cool guy. Lifestyle. It's just nice if there was, you know, like just a clean, clean 64 Impala. Oh, breaking news. Huh? Something broke. Hey, that's Liberty Walk stuff, huh? Wow. Hey, this is Indian Ruben. Is he Indian Ruben? He, like from the Gunners, 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 I don't know. Cool. Again, cars for sale. It's so, so weird. I think like Japan must be full. I love that. That's still driving around and that car is in Japan. But you know, all of those cars you don't see in Japan. You just always see like all the Primera cars and all the, you know, all the classics. That's my favorite drink of like Red Bull Cola is the best. It used to have that cocaine aftertaste. I tell you guys, if you ever did a line and that, that benzol aftertaste, this stuff used to be like this. But then something happened and then they changed something. And I heard in Austria they had bottles with a real coca leaf inside. Sorry if I go off of that. But like, uh, it's just, just good stuff. So yeah, where are all those cars in Japan? Because you just always see the same cars. Maybe I look at the wrong pages or follow the wrong people. But in Japan I always just see the Primera cars, the Red Lion cars. I don't know, you know, like the Big Mama, whatever that's called, cars. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So almost through. I'm hungry. I think after this, I'm gonna have some popcorn. And uh, yeah, real watts. Okay, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. You like it? What? 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 Hey, get some. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any suggestions or problems or something else. And please, I've seen that in a couple of my videos that people leave links to like uh, X-rated pages. I don't like, why are you doing that? 
uh, let's talk about cars guys drop a comment below tell me what you want to know tell me if you want to see my cars tell me if you want to show me your cars tell me if you were featured in one of those magazines and uh just give me information or talk to me please okay so i hope you enjoyed this i got more of these if you want to see more of these let me know if you want to hear more about my what maybe happened with jesse james <laughs> let me know okay and if you're jesse james don't go after me don't sue me uh just you know i just say what i heard so I don't know if this is real or not. Okay, goodbye, good night, and have fun.